I will be showing various facets of Servais' music that transferred into uh, some of our standard repertoire, uh, such as uh, Rococo variations, uh, Dvorak's cello concerto, and uh, other uh, pieces we learn, we love, and uh, we enjoy playing. Uh, the first piece I'm going to demonstrate is the Barber of Seville Fantasy by Survey. Uh, there is no shortage of Abbo, Staccato, and Survey's music. And uh, uh, we see that in Rococo variations, uh, there are several places where Abbo, Staccato is uh, utilized, especially in the second variation and the fourth variation of the Fitzenhagen version, where we see around 90 notes being played on one bow, in one bow direction, a staccato. Uh, so this uh, variation, this is a variation number one uh, from the uh, Barbara of Civil Fantasy. Uh, we'll see not quite that many notes, but uh, we'll see uh, surveys fascination with the technique. Another passage in Survey's music where we see 42 notes on one bow is Souvenir de Spa. Uh, in measure 126 in the first variation. I will start a couple measures preceding. And the variation continues with a post staccato, uh, but uh, not as many notes on one bow. Now let's look at uh, a simple theme that Survey uses uh, by the violinist and uh, songwriter Lafont. Lafont was a violinist of uh, Paganini's caliber, and at one point they went head to head. Uh, the a piece by Survey is based on two Lafont uh, songs, and uh, it's a double variation, so there are two variations 
uh, on the first theme and a variation on the second theme and then two more on the first theme. I will play the cadenza connecting to the first uh, theme and I will play through the first theme as well as the two variations that accompany it. You will notice that the cadenza has a figuration similar to the one in Saint Sans first cello concerto uh, in the finale. Configuration by survey that's often misattributed to Victor Herbert is the one of the broken octaves. Uh, the figuration that is found in Herbert's second cello concerto, that is uh, also found in Popper's 38th etude from the high school. Uh, high school uh, Etudes. Uh, this figuration first appears in uh, Surveys Music in 
34 as part of his Fantasy La Romantique. Uh, it appears very briefly. It's a C uh, scale that goes up with some chromatic alterations coming down. And uh, uh, then it makes an appearance in other pieces, such as the LaFont Fantasy. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate the LaFont Fantasy. This is the variation on the second theme. I will begin in the middle. This uh, excerpt is in B flat minor. Uh, and uh, the broken octaves span around two pages. I will only play a few measures of this for demonstration. You might also uh, recognize an octave passage from the Dvorak Cello Concerto in the first movement. <laughs> Uh, is quite challenging to play, especially since uh, we don't spend much time on broken octaves like this. The way Survey approaches this particular broken octaves passage is by starting on an up bow and then uh, doing it as it comes. So the top octave will always come in a down bow and the bottom octave will always come on an up bow. So, up. Like that. Uh, this uh, passage also appears in the Daughter of the Regiment fantasy. Uh, in, the, uh, in one of the variations. Similarly to uh, the up bow staccato, and there being no shortage of that in Survey's music, there's no shortage of octaves. And uh, one of the octave passages uh, that's uh, very similar to uh, the Rococo variations in the coda appears in the coda of uh, the Lestock fantasy. Uh, the Let's Talk fantasy is uh, formulated as a one movement concerto based on two themes. This is a unique uh, way of processing themes for Survey as he prefers to do uh, theme and variations and maybe a slow uh, variation or a, a slow uh, song and then a finale. Uh, that's a bravura finale uh, this concerto uh, fantasy is quite well balanced uh, with uh, an internal sonata form. The, the finale uh, or the coda of this, I will begin it at measure 521 and soon after you will notice a very close kinship to the Rococo Variations coda. Thank you. 
Speaking of octaves, who can forget the octave passage in the Dvorak Cello Concerto with uh, triplets on the bottom? This octave passage is often simplified to just octaves or just triplets on the top, or maybe octaves with triplets on the top. But the passage itself appears uh, on three lines of music of uh, the finale of The Daughter of the Regiment, Fantasy by Surveying. topic of things that survey really enjoy doing uh, this passage where I just stopped continues in the surveyism as I like to call it of uh, a sequence uh, where uh, you use all five fingers and uh, this particular one is an A major and uh, the sequence also appears in D major and C major. Uh, I will demonstrate the surveyism in uh, C major because uh, that is uh, the one that's currently in my hand. Uh, the surveyism uh, usually starts on an octave as here you saw it start here. And it expands to a ninth and then a tenth. Uh, the one I will demonstrate is uh, from Fantasy La Romantique. Uh, it's in C major, so it starts on G and it expands and descends from there. particular uh, sequence uh, sometimes starts on A and descends, sometimes it starts on E, and uh, it's quite difficult to learn, but once uh, you have it, it's quite rewarding to play. Uh, and the last sequence I would like to show uh, is also found in Rococo variations. Uh, in the first variation, and it is the the seven six suspension. So in Rococo variation that appears this way, and uh, uh, survey in his music it appears several times, and uh, most notably in the published version of the Morceau de Concert, uh, Opus fourteen in the development section. Uh, the, the pattern is not quite the same as in Rococo variations, but you will notice that uh, the difference is only in the amount of notes. Instead of a triplet, it's a quadruplet.
advice on learning survey is uh, if you want to get your feet wet with surveys music, I would start with Souvenir de St. Petersburg, Opus 15. Uh, the music is exquisite and uh, the techniques that uh, Surveyor requires of for uh, playing the piece is uh, uh, the palette is not as large as some of his other fantasies. Uh, if uh, you feel like you really want to stretch your uh, palette of uh, techniques, uh, you could do the Daughter of the Regiment or Okara and Memoria. Opus 16 and 17, respectively. Uh, but uh, be warned that those are quite difficult. They have uh, many octaves, thirds, six, and uh, especially octaves uh, with uh, fingers two and four. So uh, be sure that uh, your body can handle it. And uh, just a fair warning that you do not injure yourself. I would like to leave you with a beautiful melody that Servet used uh, in his uh, Fantasy Le Romantique. Uh, it is a Swiss melody uh, that was popular uh, in the early 1800s. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this lecture. <laughs>